Yeah, Tom from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna work on volleys. Okay, I wanna give you a couple of, of tips on the footwork and a little of the movement of the racket. We're not gonna get too much into detail because I'm gonna have to make a different video to work on the volleys that you hit when you're coming running from behind. Okay, when you approach and you're already coming with a speed to an eight, which you'd have to hit the ball, okay, and then cross, do a cross step, okay, cross back step. So we're gonna focus today, and what I'm gonna show you is a couple of drills that you can do, okay? Again, continue with this uh, series of how to clean, how to correct and everything that you probably have seen all the videos before um, with the forehand, the backhand, the, the kick serve. So I'm gonna show you today a couple of drills on the footwork, okay? Since the, from the split step, the step forward and how the part of the racket has to be in front, okay? But before, I show you that I want to um, clear three mistakes, okay, three very, very common mistakes that a lot of players uh, do when they're hitting the, the balls at the net. The first one, and probably you already know, the most common one is taking the racket behind. And you you might see this a lot, okay, and I can show you like this, people coming to the net and bringing the racket here behind because they have the thought that the more they take the racket behind, the more power they're gonna have on the ball. And what actually you wanna create on the volley is just the blocking movement, okay, of your racket in front, just taking the ball down, okay? One, then is the taking the racket back. The second mistake is when players hit the volley and take the racket down, so what happens? Or they either hit the ball on the net, or if the ball is coming too fast and they hit it from up, coming down like this the ball is just gonna pop okay like a love very long and if the ball goes in you will have none okay zero effect or zero damage on your opponent the third one which is probably maybe not a huge mistake but it's something that if you understand and like i always say i like to to make things to make you play smarter and to make you play better and the, the, the mistake of trying to kill the point at the net on the first ball is what creates maybe 75 to 80 percent of the missed volleys at the net. Why I say this? There's a lot of players that I see okay, hitting a great approach, they come to the net and the first ball maybe is not the easiest one because of course you're hitting an approach and your, your opponent is trying to hit a passing shot and they try to kill the ball, put too much power, just, or play close to the lines. Smart players, okay, and, and players with more level, players with more information maybe, they understand that the first volley is the one that you have to create the damage and the second one is the, have, the one you have to close. Once you understand this, believe me, it's gonna make a huge difference because you're gonna come to an net with another mindset, okay? You're not gonna come to an net and hitting so fast and going for too much on the first ball, okay, that's why the first mistake of taking the racket back starts. Because you wanna create so much power, you wanna just kill the ball on the first one, that you bring the racket from behind just to kill your opponent, when the first thing you have to do is just get in here and try to set up the next ball to close it on the next ball. Okay, if you close it on the first one, that doesn't mean that it's wrong, but I'm saying that having the mindset of having to close the point on the first volley is what is gonna give you the mistakes of hurrying up, of um, making a mess on your on your technique, okay? Because you wanna try to put too much into a ball when actually it's, it's much simple, okay? So let's break down a little of the footwork and the part of the racket and then we're gonna see a couple of volleys. So going into the first one, okay, the first, uh, footwork set up, what we have to think is that most of the time, depending on the approach you hit, you're not going to be able to get too close to the net because of course you will hit and your opponent will be hitting um, the, the passing shot. So it's very important the placement or where you're going to go. If you're hitting a ball from down the middle, okay, and you're opening either to uh, his forehand or backhand, you have to understand that if you stay in the middle and the ball is coming from uh, his forehand, let's say, if he's a righty, you are having so much uh, open space here that it would be too easy for him to hit a short angle there or even to hit from the outside. 
So you have to hit from here, okay, hit from the middle, go into his forehand. You have to try to close the spaces and have a diagonal. What it would be easier if you stay here facing the middle, it would be much easier for him to go over and much harder for you to cover that if you come here, what happens if you do this, okay, where you can go with one step closing the short angle or you can have here one step to close the down the line. All right, so um, that will be the first idea, okay? It's very important to know the position on the net. And there are many, many players that I know that have great bodies, but the problem is where they stand when they come to a net. And another big problem is how they come to a net, okay? So very important. How you come to a net is gonna give you where you have to position yourself, and then of course, is gonna dictate what ball is gonna come from their side. Parenthesis there, of course, you always have the surprise factor if your opponent hits a really good ball. You can do anything with that. So going after that, you will have the stepping into a ball, okay? Where you do the split step, and then you always keep the racket in front. This advice was given to me from my coach when actually I was, I think, seven or eight years old, that he told me, you always have to be able to look at your racket in front of you when you're bowling. If you're here, you always see your racket in front. So if the racket comes here, you can see the racket here if you're facing forward. So always having the racket in front, okay? This maybe is the most important tip of the volley. Okay, always having it in front, always having it in front and guiding with your arm where you wanna go and your unit of turn, okay? So let's break it down. First then, have the racket in front, be able to see always the racket. Second one, the hand, okay? Non-dominant hand here is gonna help you a lot to point the ball, okay? You don't have, wanna have the, the hand down here to point the ball and then go with the racket and create the balance with the body. So you do the split step, you keep the racket in front, you see how I'm starting to turn here, okay? It doesn't matter where I'm gonna go with my body, but I already did the split step, start to turn. If I go to that side, I will make the step to that side. If I wanna go cross court, okay, I make the split step, I turn, and I'm gonna step to that side. So you can see the difference on my left leg. If I'm going to one side, I'm gonna step to that side. If I'm going to the other one, I'm gonna make the split and step to the other side, okay? I'm going with the body. The second thing that I wanna talk is actually how you can play this ball smart. So let's think about it. If you can't get to the net fast enough to kill it, then the first one has to be a setup. So if you're hitting the ball from the middle of the box, which you sometimes and most of the times is a very hard ball, what you have to do is coming forward and make the setup, okay, taking the ball to a tough angle for your opponent to then, yes, after you take it there, you can come closer to the net to be able then to close on the second ball. So let me show you a couple of balls on how you can take it, okay, down the setup and then make the split to close the other ball. All right, let's take a look. So you saw there how I was almost on the, the service line and when I'm coming to an net, okay, I hit the ball, okay, let's imagine here, hit the approach here, I was already waiting after the approach, okay, I fall, I'm waiting here and then when I have the ball coming to me, I move and I just take it, okay, it was going actually a very good ball and I actually have a ball coming to my body because most of the times, if you don't move well on the volley, you will create your own mistake, okay? If you are coming here to approach and you're coming a ball coming to you and you just wanna do this, what damage are you gonna create on your opponent? So I, I made a step, I had a ball coming to me and I had to actually make a good footwork around the ball to be able to have my body and my arm ready to hit the ball. Okay, so you have the ball coming to you, you move from the ball, you move away from the ball, 
you take your body from behind the ball so you can have the arm okay there and you can pay attention that I'm not taking my racket back here I'm turning and I always see in the racket in front of me okay so I always keep the same concept all right let's see a couple of balls now finishing at the net after that setup So we could break down here the two different balls that you hit on the net, okay? The one where you're setting up, you're hitting a little more from behind, close to, closer to the service line, and the other one where you're already closer after that one, okay? So if you wanna see it again, you'd hit the approach here, stop, set up the ball, come a little closer to then close either forehand or backhand. So I'm gonna try to show you more from players where you can see this because this happens a lot, okay? Most of the players understand that they have to first set up and then close unless they're coming to a net with a really good approach and they're able to get close to a net on the first ball. If not, you have to set up, especially if you're playing doubles. I had the chance to play doubles two months ago with a guy, former uh, top 100 in the world, play all the ATP tournaments you can imagine. And the best advice he gave me playing in a tournament, it was don't try to kill the ball on the first one when you're coming to the net. The first ball, okay, you approach, you're gonna always hit it maybe from the service line. They're gonna try to get to your shoes. So use the first one as a setup, work, take your opponents behind so you can get closer to the net and have a better shot. For me, it was a great advice because we started doing that in the match playing together. And it was, it was great how I could I was able to even gain confidence to controlling the first ball, taking my opponents back, okay, pushing them back so they have to defend and they're not able to hit a, a comfortable ball to hit a passing shot, all right? So that, those were the advices I have today. I have to do another video where the ball coming and hitting an aggressive ball with the cross step and the entire footwork, okay, which is completely different and I have to show you different drills. So that's gonna be for another one. If you guys like this video, Please thumbs up, share with your friends if you like it, leave me a comment, another video suggestion that you'd like to see. As you can see, I take time to answer everybody. Positive comments, of course. There are some that are nonsense. I won't waste any time on that. Um, but yeah, you can ask for another video. I write down everything, so I always try to make the videos that you guys ask for, all right? Thank you for, for taking the time to watch.